So we're going to head on over to ChatGPT. So we're going to go ahead and so we're going to go ahead and head over to ChatGPT. Now, what we're going to do is give it some prompts. How we do that? Very simple. What are we going to do? We want to make a faceless social media advertising advertisement post. What would be the most efficient? Nah, that's the wrong word. Don't use the wrong word. What would be the most? No. What would be the best content to post, to gain views, followers, and likes? My niche is, okay, no. Let's go ahead and say, what niche should I focus on? Now, we're using ChatGPT4. Health and wellness seems to be the most popular niche right now. Technology and gadgets, especially with the information about the iPad. Uh, finance and investing is always going to be there because people always want to learn how to make more money. Education and learning, people always want to forward themselves in education, which is nothing wrong with that. But here's something different. Polls and questions and tips and tricks. So informative graphics and videos. Let's go with that. We're going to go with create me a description about life hacks with tips and tricks. Give me 10. No, we want to make it simple. I want to keep it under a minute. Five things that would be very helpful to people with low income titles. Smart money saving hacks for thrifty for thrifty living. Bulk buying. Do it yourself. Cleaning supplies. Now while the AI is working, let's think. Smart energy, free entertainment and learning resources. Let's come up with a name for a person. Name this person James. James is a 20 something year old man who is looking to educate himself about crypto. James is tall and muscular build with a bald head and wears glasses. Create me a 3D, now this is key, 3D high resolution picture of James smiling. Sometimes when I type in the prompt, the prompt gives me some issues. But the memory updated, and I think we got a picture of James. Hopefully we do. So why it's doing that? And since the GPT remembered James, let's do this. We're going to also do this. I'm going to do that. Why not? Download that picture. Make James study. Uh, make James looking at his create picture with James looking at his computer. So here we go. Now, mind you, this is ChatGPT. ChatGPT4. All right, so we got a picture of James. What I like to do is I like to regenerate it because sometimes it gives you similar images of the same person, which is good because I can use those in different parts of the script. There we go. Got it. That's better. Show James walking to a business high rise. Now remember, James is going to a business, a high rise. What is he going to the high rise for? Maybe he's going to go present something to a company. Okay. James is in a conference room. Show James in a conference room with his peers and going over a presentation about cryptocurrency. Now, as you can see, we're talking about cryptocurrency because of the fact that, that was one of the topics that, which is trending, right? So that picture doesn't look appropriate, nor is that James. Let's see, I'm not even gonna put that up. Create James with all his clothes on and 
with a bald, a bald head, muscular build. Yeah, hold on. Let me go ahead and copy. I'm gonna cut this. And then I'm gonna regenerate because that other picture wasn't cool. And we don't want to go ahead and offend nobody. James has a bald head. Right. And this is storytelling, but you're talking about crypto, right? Oh, James. So we got to go ahead and create the same. Just lower down. Create. The same picture with James having a bald head. Why is James without, doesn't have no clothes on? Show James a suit and tie. And a gray suit and tie. Show James in a gray suit and tie. Y'all making it harder than it has to be. Friend. A bar. And so we generate it, and now we're going to regenerate another one. Then we're going to move over to step two. All right. Now we're about to go ahead and create. Should we do YouTube shorts? Blur all. So we, now we can do YouTube explainer, script to video, YouTube shorts, news video, TikTok video, clone your voice, or Instagram reel. For this, I'm gonna use Instagram Reel. And we're gonna push back to ChatGPT real quick. I'm gonna go all the way back up here. And remember, creating a successful script. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use this. Go ahead and say, what we're gonna do is this. James is working on a plan to introduce cryptocurrency to a new corporation in town. Create a script. No, create a scenario where James closes a deal with a corporation. See what comes up. Oh, they're making me a, a picture. Pictures are good. Nothing's wrong with that. Don't want that. Right? A description about James closing a big cryptocurrency deal. This is already too long. Make it short and to the point. All right, so we're gonna copy that. Go back here, share this tab. All right, make music cinematic. Language should be English. Let's say it says with humor. With humor and comic, comic, humor and comedy. We're going to use a male. We're going to use a New Yorker accent narrator. We're going to go to speaker two. Don't add subtitles. We're going to use the subtitles from Instagram. It says use stock as needed. Yes. But we're also going to put right here, use only seven to eight slides. I'm going to show you why. All right. We're going to generate this bad boy. All right. Do we want to do it? crypto enthusiasts, business professionals, or tech savvy? Well, so eh, with tech savvy. We already been talking about tech savvy. So we're going to do cinematic, and we're going to make this for Instagram Reels. Okay. Now, let's go. And while that's doing that, just to be productive, Create me a folder. This is going to be done off the screen. You ain't got to worry about seeing this. So this is a folder about James. To James and crypto. All right. So that's going on. There's my James folder. Something thing about Apple. You make folders, they just pop away. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. Three, four. Put those in James folder. And get some more. Now, the good part about a video, it does the audio for you. It does AI for you. does everything. Encrypt it all. But we don't want to do what the normal people would do because then you'll get the normal results. What we want to do is tell a story from our brain. And with that being said, boom. It's about to be done. And you can see for yourself. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. 
I bet you didn't know that the future of finance could hinge on one guy's love for blockchain. Or everybody is looking for the next. Let me turn it up a little bit for you. Next big thing in tech, but James, he's already. You didn't know that the future of finance. Bet you didn't know that the future. Check it out. Bet you didn't know that the future of finance could hinge on one guy's love for blockchain. Or everybody is looking for the next big thing in tech, but James, he's already 10 steps ahead with cryptocurrency. Let's paint the picture. Imagine a boardroom bustling with suits, charts, and the usual yawn-inducing figures. In comes James, our crypto crusader, turning heads not just because of his snazzy tie. Nope, he's got bigger plans. With a flick of his wrist, up goes a presentation that might as well have been from the year 2030. James dives into how cryptocurrencies and blockchain are not just digital fairy dust, but real tools to rocket a business into efficiency and security heaven. And guess what? By the time he's done, even the toughest CFOs are scribbling notes. The result? A groundbreaking deal that doesn't just put this corporation on the map. It redraws the whole dang atlas of finance. Thanks to James, blockchain is now the hottest word in the boardroom. And that, folks, is how you make a crypto splash in the corporate pond. All right. So what we're going to do now, we're going to edit this video. We have how many slides? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve slides, right? So let's go ahead and upload our media. And we're going to go to our desktop. We're going to go to the story of James and the crypto brother. So we got more than three. And we have quite a few. Oh, James. All right. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're going to have to get some more. Show James impressing his colleagues I me mean, in the boardroom show the boardroom excited findings What's your saying? Now we're about to go ahead and switch out some of these scripts. So we know James is right here. And the first James right there. Why changes? Let's listen to the script. And so keep in mind on another screen, you can have your video, your pictures up so you can know what's coming next. I bet you didn't know that the future of finance could hinge on one guy's love for blockchain. Or everybody is looking for the next big thing in tech, but James. He's already 10 steps ahead with cryptocurrency. Let's paint the picture. Imagine a boardroom bustling with suits, charts, and the usual yawn-inducing figures. In comes James, our crypto crusader, turning heads not just because of his snazzy tie. Nope, he's got bigger plans. With a flick of his wrist, up goes a presentation that might as well have been from the year 2030. James dives into how cryptocurrencies and blockchain are not just digital fairy dust, but real tools to rocket a business into efficiency and security heaven. And guess what? By the time he's done, even the toughest CFOs are scribbling notes. The result? A groundbreaking deal that doesn't just put this corporation on the map. It redraws the whole dang atlas of finance. Thanks to James, blockchain is now the hottest word in the boardroom. And that, folks, is how you make a crypto splash in the corporate pond. Okay. So now, go ahead, edit. James. Boom. And then you just move forward. Just line them up. Lock them down. Supply changes. Let's see what it looks like. Hold on. Let's paint the picture. Imagine a boardroom but know that the future. I bet you didn't know that the future of finance could hinge on one guy's love for blockchain. Or everybody is looking for the next big thing in tech, but James, he's already 10 steps ahead with cryptocurrency. 
Let's paint the picture. Imagine a boardroom bustling with suits, charts, and the usual yawn-inducing figures. In comes James, our crypto... I bet you didn't know that the future of finance could hinge on one guy's love for blockchain. Or everybody is looking for the next big thing in tech, but James, he's already 10 steps ahead with cryptocurrency. Let's paint the picture. Imagine a boardroom bustling with suits, charts, and the usual yawn-inducing figures. In comes James, our crypto crusader, turning heads not just because of his snazzy tie. Nope, he's got bigger plans. With a flick of his wrist, up goes a presentation that might as well have been from the year 2030. James dives into how cryptocurrencies and blockchain are not just digital fairy dust, but real tools to rocket a business into efficiency and security heaven. And guess what? By the time he's done, even the know that the future of finance could hinge on one guy's love for blockchain. Or everybody is looking for the next big thing in tech, but James, he's already 10 steps ahead with cryptocurrency. Let's paint the picture. Imagine a boardroom bustling with suits, charts, and the usual yawn-inducing figures. In comes James, our crypto crusader, turning heads not just because of his snazzy tie. Nope, he's got bigger plans. With a flick of his wrist, up goes a presentation that might as well have been from the year 2030. James dives into how cryptocurrencies and blockchain are not just digital fairy dust, but real tools to rocket a business into efficiency and security heaven. And guess what? By the time he's done, even the toughest CFOs are scribbling notes. The result? A groundbreaking deal that doesn't just put this corporation on the map. It redraws the whole dang atlas of finance. Thanks to James, blockchain is now the hottest word in the boardroom. And that, folks, is how you make a crypto splash in the corporate pond. Okay. And so now you export that. And that's it. You got your video. Pretty much simple. It takes some time. Um, say it took me about an hour to create that video. And we're good to go. And again, I myself haven't made much money doing it. But there's people out there that you see results and you'll be like, wow, these people are making $1,200, $1,300 per video. It's out there. All right, y'all. Be blessed. Peace.